Hello again. Just wanted to make a video of uh, the generator being done. Um, first, to start off, answer a couple of questions I neglected to talk about in my videos. Start the camera and start talking, and you forget everything that you want to say. <laughs> Anyways, um, for the last video and this video now, I've had these two deep cycle batteries uh, parallel. So the wheel's been running off 12 volts. It's been running. Uh, basically at the same speed it was at 24 volts. Uh, the problem was that this little deep cycle uh, having them in series was really killing it and um, it was losing its voltage really fast. Anyways, they're parallel now and it's running just as well. That's the charge battery. Um, I wanted to mention, I forgot to mention in my last video, the generator having it like this and having these basically PMHs like Ed Lead Scallion made um, on the generator. Basically you have there's two poles on the magnet and there's two poles on the um, pickup coil. Now, something I noticed when I was lining up the first one uh, on the generator when you line up this magnet right in between the poles um, there's no real attraction to either one when it's right in the middle and it well it's hard for me to know for sure because <laughs> I can't take this thing apart now it's at that point my can but it'd be a lot of work um, but I don't think it's causing a lot of cogging unloaded cogging um, with the magnet passing right between the two poles like that because the attractions equal on both sides and it balances each other out and it didn't when I was lining it up th there was no attraction to each or either pole and it's right in the middle very interesting now I've got uh, six six coils on it now uh, they're all in series uh, the windings are alternating and the again the polarity on the magnets is alternating now <clears throat> I'll fire it up I have this Basically, I have the output from the uh, generator coils coming up into this little transformer. I'm stepping it down, and um, it's stepping it down. Then it's getting rectified, and then it's going into this little cap. But I wanted to show you the voltage step down, and then I'm going to switch it to the amp draw show you that. Uh, it does put drag on the wheel tell, tell you before I start it <coughs> it's going to slow the wheel down but uh, you'll see and you'll see the amp draw effect so let's get it going and I will be cutting this off I guess if that was suggested to me thank you very much I've been thinking about that here we go again this is going to settle about 3.9 pick up coils I'm charging up and I was going to make a video yesterday <coughs> ended up not I forget what this climbs to Okay, so we got about 6.6 .6 volts uh, DC in this cap right here after being rectified. The wheels are running pretty smoothly. And there's about a 3.9 amp draw. 3.9 ish. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is I want to show you the amp draw. So I'm going to turn this off. Unplug it first. Die. There we go. It's basically going to be going across this 10 amp 
resistor in this multimeter and you'll notice the wheel slows down from the speed or from the sound I'm sure and it slows down a bit it's still wheeling pretty good but I'm getting 6.6 .6 volts at 0 0.44 ish amps now I can put six more of these uh, microwave oven fans I have four more I'm sure I can scrounge up two more microwave ovens somewhere they seem to come to me but basically that's what she's doing. She slows the wheel down, but doesn't stop it. And the amp draw goes down, just like I thought. That's kind of disappointing that the wheel slows down like it does. You know, it's not stopping, but um, I was hoping for a little better effect. But um, <coughs> like the Flynn motor, the amp draw doesn't go up when you put uh, manual drag on the wheel. I thought that was interesting. But uh, that's it. Um, I'm going to be hooking my pulse width modulator variable frequency up to it and playing a little bit next. But uh, basically, I wanted to make this video to show what's going in what's coming out of the generator and obviously still have the charge going in the charge battery from the Bedini circuits uh, really really good charge I could put a an inverter onto that and run some stuff but um, but there you go there's a little update I'll uh, I'll be making another video talking to you later take her easy